Okay, how's it going? So basically, there is a big problem. Um, you see, you have a when I double click on this thing, the styling appears disappears, right? So when I double click the button, it also affects it. I tried the usual method of event stop propagation or whatever it's called, right? The problem it simply does not work, right? I tried everything. I tried passing event. So the way you pass event is like this. And then in our function, we can use event in here, and event any, and then event stop propagation. See, it still doesn't work. I tried absolutely every possible method you could possibly imagine, right? Right, it's still the problem in here, you see? Now, I went through the whole thing basically in here. I will link it in the description below. So this is very complex code. I was trying to avoid it. So I tried pretty much everything they posted. So unfortunately, this is the only way to do it uh, through a directive. Directive is like a function that you can run um, in an element. Okay, It listens to an event. If that event happens, it runs this directive. That's the way it works. So to create a directive, ng generate directive folder and name of your direction directive. We're gonna be copy and pasting code pretty much from here. Literally, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So naturally, I copy and pasted the code. Oh, it doesn't matter, right? I copy and pasted the code. So we're gonna remove this mumbo jumbo. Okay, so then you copy and paste. Basically, what I did was I um, make sure that the name doesn't get screwed up because if you copy and paste the entire thing, um, it can get screwed up a bit. And then the name, you can put anything you want. You can put um, double click. Stop propagation. So this is just naming for your uh, directive, right? So, and when you want to use a directive, you just put it into an element, and then that's it. It works, right? So think of it like as a function, I suppose, that you can use globally. So now you see it stops the double. It stops the bubbling effect. Do you see what I'm saying? So button is working, but it's not bubbling. So I'm going to paste the link in the description below with this code, ng generate directive. It seems to be working completely globally. The only thing I will mention is if you go, when you're creating directives, now this is Angular, uh, I'm not sure what, I think it's like eight or nine now I'm using. I'm using the latest and it's 16th of February, 2022. So I noticed if you create directives, you have to add them in here. And then you have to put them in here. But if you use ng generate directive, directive, blah, 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 this will happen for you automatically. Okay. I'm just saying that if it's not working, check two things. Is it added into your module? If it is, the second thing, um, make sure that the click, that the event that you're listening to, is double click because I like I put it in it's not working for me I was like panicking and I realized wait I'm listening to the wrong I'm listening to the wrong event so sometimes it's click sometimes it's mouse hoover whatever make sure that this is correct right otherwise it's just uh, not gonna work and to use it just put it into the element where you want to that is being clicked or whatever so for me it's the button so I just put it into the um, like an attribute into the uh, button div, right? Okay, and that's it. That's how it works. Take care.